Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, except it's the, not this one, because you know what? This isn't current paper. This is a project from 2013, so a little after I joined. So I'm not quite at 10 years yet. That's at the end of March. And this one went live on my blog in... Uh, May 2013 and I have remade it a few times since but actually the reason for making this one for you today is simply because it fell off my shelf. So where I'm sat now I'm facing um, a window here and then to my left I have open desk space and I've got storage over there and I have a few things on there including a couple of really old projects and I sim and I on the desk area over over that side is where when I've designed and made a project I put it over there. Um, and I went to grab a project to look at it and decide what I was going to, you know, design next. And this fell off the shelf. And I thought, let's remake it. Now, I have remade it a few times since. And actually, my original project, which I will show you from 2013, I used to work in only metric or imperial. I never used to put both sets of measurements on it. Um, so I have another one that I made from 2016 when I remade it that does have both metric and imperial, wherever it is, it's down here somewhere, under there. So these are the measurements I'm going to be working with. Um, but the other thing that I thought I might share with this, so um, I do have two of them. I don't know where the other one's got it. It might have gone down the back of the shelves. It was this very project that got me to the point where I show one version and then make the same project but with a different paper. And as I'm making it, I will chatter away and tell you the story. So first up, you need some paper cardstock, 10 and a half by 8 and 3 eighths of an inch um, in metric 26 by 26 and a half by 21 centimeters it will be on my blog i'm going to do the simple cut and paste <laughs> for you so you know it's simple um right let me get this scored and then as i'm cutting and everything i will um chatter away about it so score on the long side i'm assuming the long side yes one and a half those are questionable measurements i've written down five six and a half and ten so that's in inches in metric four twelve and a half sixteen and a half twenty five on the short side score it at half an inch two seven and seven and a quarter which in metric is one, five, 18 and 18 and a half. And then I want to come back to this side. So this is the top where I've got two little score lines there. This is the bottom. And I'm going to part score uh, at three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to go down to about the five inch mark. So that's at two centimeters down to 12 and a half. And I'm going to score again at five and three quarters, wherever I can see it. There it is. Again, down to that. So it's just a part score. And that's this bit here. And find my ruler. Oh, I've got both rulers on this desk. I have two rulers. Both stolen from my husband. This one's got metric and imperial on one side and then just imperial on the other. And it's really grubby. This one has metric and imperial, but then it also has a conversion table. That actually lives on the other side of my office. So that when I'm writing everything up, I've got a ruler there just in case I, I'm questioning my own measurements. So I'm putting triangles of score lines in there. So this is the part score and I'm just going down to the left and to the right to create that bit. And the same on this other part score. So, let me burnish this up and tell you a little story. So when I started, so like I say, I'm almost coming up to my 10th anniversary. Um, I did have all of my children then because Oliver is two. My first video came out, I think it was the day after his second birthday. Um, and I, exactly the same as I do now, design a project in advance and then prep and film it shortly afterwards and because Oliver was only two and he was still at home actually I think Jacob would still have been at home as well 
um, or maybe wasn't at school full time, um, I used to do my filming in his nap times, in Olive's nap times. So I'm just going to cut up here this little bit where we've got a few areas, we just cut that away. Anyway, so yeah, I used to film in Oliver's um, nap time and I would prep ahead of time, you know, often the night before. And on the occasion when I'd made my first version of this project, and bearing in mind I was a new demonstrator, I didn't have very much cardstock. I literally used to buy the mixed packs where you'd get two of each. Two, sorry, two of each colour. So I had designed one and I was prepping another, um, cutting it down to size. And one of the boys, and I, don't, I genuinely don't remember who it was, one of them came down and I cut in the wrong place. And I was like, what do I do? And it was Marina Mist. I will never forget that. Marina Mist, which is this pale blue in the background. I was like, what do I do? Oh, no, I don't I don't have an, any more of the same colour. What am I going to do? And I just thought, well, I'm just going to have to use a completely different colour. And it wasn't this, which I believe is Lucky Limeade. That's how far we're going back. But I grabbed another one. Maybe it was Daffodil Delight. And that's what then started the whole, well, I'll show you one version and then I'll show you what another version of the same project looks like. So there you go. Ten years ago. Funny story. OK, so you can see I've got these little tabs here. I'm going to take them off my little squares for now and then we need to start mock folding it up actually probably what I also ought to do is get rid of these ones so that's the same little tab gone I know I don't need that area Hold it down and get a hold of it. Doesn't want to let me get hold of it. And this same one here. So I went down to both score lines. Okay. So at this point in time, this is what my project is going to look like. So I want to determine where the back of it is, the back of my project is. So that's going to be where this seam is. And the front is going to fold over from the back. So I'm going to keep this one. It's closest to the back. Get rid of that. And I like to do this. Um, but A, to remind myself, because it's clearly a lot of years since I've made this project. Um, but also to show you just how to double check. So I'm going to fold it over from there. And it's going to form this front. But this is the one that I want to go into the back so it tucks in the back so we've got all the seams openings and everything all at the back so it's really just the opposite one so this one oh got my camera too close so it's the opposite one we're keeping the opposites and getting rid of this one I definitely got my camera zoomed in a bit close oh well I'm gonna blame somebody for fiddling with my camera while I was away I came back and my heat gun was on the table I didn't leave my heat gun on the table, but there we go. Okay, so again, on my original project, if I open it up, this is how you open it at the bottom. I've got these lovely rounded corners here. I didn't have a corner rounder anymore. So, <laughs> uh, well, we do, but it's not going to give me the corner rounder that I want. So, I'm just going to wing it with a pair of scissors. Oh, somebody tied it up on my scissors. Wow. Wow. I don't know who did that. Clearly not one of the little ones because they were with me. Okay, so I'm just going to gently round. I'm not going to be too concerned as to whether it's perfect or not. I just want to do a little bit. Oh, that's very sharp. Just so that it goes into the box. I'm not going to do it at the top though. Okay, that was very sharp wasn't it? Oops. Okay, I've got a two bits of paper here. So I've got something that I cut to the wrong length completely. <laughs> How long is that meant to be? Design a series three and a quarter inches by six inches and three and a quarter by three and a half. Well, clearly it's not meant to be six inches long. How long is it meant to be? 
um, four and three quarters. Let's just cut that down. <laughs> Clearly dodgy measurements. What did I say? Four and three quarters. Okay, <laughs> four and three quarters. Okay. So. <laughs> Right, I'm going to put that on there and then my other little skinny panel is going to go over. Th I've got that wrong. Why have I got that wrong? Three and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. What measurement was that then that I did? Clearly not. Oh, I for some reason decided I was going to cut it at two and three quarters. Okay, <laughs> so this is Blushing Bride and this is Mary Merlot. Yeah, that I ooh, suddenly had a moment then, thought I'd got it wrong again. Okay. So this is the, um, the core collection designer series paper. So this is in the annual catalogue. I just fancied something a bit different and a bit pretty. Right, so if I just gently bend in those part scores, we can start seeing this sort of all pull together. Okay. And when I fold that over, I've got a little sort of gussety top there, and I'm going to punch holes through both bits. So the first thing I want to do, punch a couple of holes in the front. Um, And then I'm going to concertina it all up and let that gussety bit pop back out so that I'm getting the right measurements and with a pen that I carefully handily have to one side I'm going to put a little black hole, black hole, black <laughs> mark there and there. And I'm just going to a tiny bit off there it just doesn't feel like it's sitting quite right anyway so back to these holes I'm going to punch through there and there now I'm going to get my ribbon started so do I use no because that's petal pink I'm going to use a very forgiving crinkled seam binding ribbon This is very forgiving, it quite likes me. It doesn't have issue with me trying to tie it into a bow. So again, this is the front part of the bag. And I'm just gonna hack a load off. Right, so let's do our one single tiny piece of adhesive, because you only need the one. Because it will close by gravity and a bow. Either or. So I'm going to bring that round. I'm going to fold in the sides. And my little tiny bit there that I trimmed off. Feed these through. I get hold of it. And this, I clearly cut off too much, but you know, forgiving as the ribbon is, I still need a lot of help. And I'm going to fold that over. And uh, I'm going to extend my belly because I want to hold this against my tummy because that, you know, it's my third hand. Nobody needs to see that. So <laughs> just use the big block to extend it onto the desk. Tie my bow and actually. Oh! grabbed the wrong bit come on crinkled seam binding you're meant to be forgiving there we go so move it around a teeny tiny little bit and yeah I've got a little bit sticking off there that I don't like so I'm just gonna nick that bit nick that bit okay 
Let's move the belly extension kit out of the way. <laughs> Trim off those tails. And that is the bones of the box. It's all made. Um, like I say, you've got one piece of adhesive down there. It closes at the bottom or by the ribbon. So you can say to your recipient, if you're giving this to somebody, oh, you don't have to open oh, pull out the ribbon you can just open it from the bottom now how to decorate so I was kind of looking at new stuff that I've got and I've got this new set the classic letters and actually the letters are bigger than the outside which is rather fabulous so um, you can see how much bigger let me find a letter a it's it's considerably bigger now I could punch words you know, I could punch enough to make a word, or I could just do initials. And I'm looking at my punches that are to the side of me, hidden by a set of fairy lights that have fallen down. Um, there we go. I can see, no, I still can't see what I'm doing. Okay. This was a punch I used a lot when it first came out, but it's a bit too big, so I'm not going to use that one. Shall we use? Ooh, these could be quite fun. So I could do. S for Sam if I could find the S. I don't know where the S is. Oh, there it is. So I could do S for Sam. Oh, that would be rather nice. Um, again, sort of going back to my quote unquote roots when I was a new early bird demonstrator, we had two oval punches and uh, they were scallops, uh, scalloped oval Ooh, and a regular oval. They were separate. And so you could punch one and then punch another. Um, and I used to do loads of that sort of thing, you know, just sort of icon work. Um, so I just feel like I want to do it again. Right, Mary Merlot. With S. And I do believe, I genuinely believe that these are small and small enough that um, you could do words or somebody's name if their name was short enough, like Sam. Um, you definitely could. So, there we go. And then I want a bit of, I did have some leftover pink. Actually, there we go. That's the bit that was left, that I chopped off before. And I should, yes, be able to get that there. And then I feel like I want to finish it off with something and I don't know if I want to do flowers or not flowers. <clears throat> I'm going to try a little flower because there's flowers on there and I want the little diddy ones. So where's all these scraps that I had before? Sometimes it's nice to go back to your roots and Trends change, trends come and go. Um, I don't think I've ever lost my love of just using paper. Um, for the, I, I'm sure there are some of you watching who have been with me my whole journey. Thank you very much for that. Um, but yeah, very much my first love was and will always probably be um, paper. I didn't dare do any stamping before I joined Stampin' Up. I've got a horrendously brilliant, very active collector gene. And so, yeah, I could very comfortably and easily collect lots of things. Right. Oh, I probably should have coloured up some um, embellishments beforehand. Oops. With some dark red or something. Well, you know what? Let's just not worry about it. Um... Actually, it's quite nice with the glittery inside. Um, so sometimes I do have to remind myself to pick up rubber stamps and ink because I just want to play with paper. It's OK. I'm not embarrassed by that <laughs> as a stamping demonstrator. Um, but yeah, sometimes it is nice to go back to my roots, to my early days of when I was learning how to stamp and what might be a good look or not good look because I just didn't have a clue what I was doing. <laughs> that's the truth so we'll have a couple of little flowers down there and I'm going to have another one up there 
and this one seems to be missing the embellishments from when I first designed it but I rather like the modern take on it and yeah you could they these would make obviously great gift bags because that's what they were designed for but you could look I've got another little bit I want to trim off um you could make them as favor bags and you could perhaps put that person's initials on the front or their whole name if it's small enough um but yeah anyway thank you ever so much for joining me oh 20 minutes goodness me I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.